most of the time, gisa lang ako pag dinner. Sanay na akong kumain ko gisa. If you carry one thing throughout your entire life, let it be hope. Let it be hope that better things are always ahead. Let it be hope that you can get through even the toughest of times. Let it be hope that you are stronger than any challenge that comes your way. Let it be hope that you are exactly where you're meant to be right now and that you are on the path to where you're always meant to be. Because during these times, hope will be the very thing that carries you through. Being the lone female at sea is never easy. It takes courage, patience, strength, a certain amount of happiness, positivity, and a little frustration. Most importantly, tons of faith in deciding to follow your heart over your fears. With passion, with a fighting spirit, with a sunflower soul and a little rock and roll. Welcome to a day in my life at sea. Then um, the wind condition should also be checked. The wind.
moving forwards and the current direction should be monitored so that we make sure that our vessel doesn't get dragged. So this circle, you can see the circle, that is the monitoring circle for the anchorage. If the vessel, that's us in the middle, drags her anchor or gets out of that circle, it means her uh, anchor is dragging and it means that she's not keeping her position. This is our Starbucks area. I love to put fresh milk in my coffee. Put a little sugar in the hot water. After a satisfying cup of coffee, I then keep my watch. I have to make sure that our vessel does not drag and continuously monitor her position against the chart. By ensuring the proper lookout is always maintained, I make sure to monitor all the movements of other vessels around us and I also keep a strict watch of our VHF radio for important announcements and instructions from the port. Meteorological and tidal conditions as well as the state of the seas also monitored. The main engines and other machinery should also be ready for immediate use at all times. A few minutes before 12 noon, second officer will relieve me from my watch. After telling him the present condition and other important standing orders, I will then hand over the watch. Completing all my logbooks marks the end of my morning watch. And then it's time for Chop Chop. Time for lunch. Good appetite. I take all my meals here in the officer's crew mess. I share the table with third engineer, electrician, and second officer. I was not home at lunch, and now I'm going back to my cabin. Para magrest ng kaunti, then by one o'clock, so we have to do at least two hours of eating for maintenance. I get to chill for a few more minutes before I go out for my maintenance of my life-saving appliances and firefighting equipment. So for today's activity. For today's maintenance, we'll be doing the annual check of the portable fire extinguishers. Which we will talk about in a separate vlog. So I'm done with my work for today. So after my retain, I would have to go back to my cabin to, to rest for a while because I need to prepare for my night watch. Then later, I will be doing my night watch from 8 p.m. until 12 midnight. So I need to be well rested as a duty officer. Kailangan talaga may enough rest. Hi, so I'm already awake. Nakatulog na ako ng konti and this is the time where I do some of my stuff. I mingle naman. I mingle with other people but I don't I don't make tambay in our day room or I don't watch movies with them. That's what I learned doing throughout the years of sailing. So yeah, right now I'm actually editing editing a vlog. This is what I enjoy doing. I love editing videos. So yeah. Now it's 6:30. I will have my dinner later. For now, I'm just chilling and chatting. We also have internet on board, so I get to chat or video call to my parents. So this is my this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Have my dinner.
Let's go. Come on, you got my gator. So my dinner for tonight, I have chicken with broccoli, then steamed rice, and some apple chips. So I always have my dinner a little late, mga past, so you know, mga past seven, because when I take my dinner early, I get hungry early then, and after my watch, I don't want to eat na. And most of the time, bisa lang ako pag dinner. Sanay na akong kumain ko isa. We have our messman who takes care of our dishes. But if we had our meals late and his shift is done, we need to wash our own dishes and clean up the sink. I use eyeglasses only at night. Sa bridge, uh, kailangan kasi madilim dun, so as in super dilim. And my eyes get easily tired kapag naka-focus ako sa mga navigational equipment namin. So, dun lang nakatutok yung mata ko. Kaya, I have anti-radiation eyeglasses to protect my eyes para hindi siya lalabo. And para hindi sumakit yung ulo ko. This is pretty much my day. After I take over the watch from chief officer, I will stay on the bridge until second officer relieves me. There's nothing really special. I understand that days on board seem really boring because we do the same things over and over. Sometimes we also eat the same food and we just see the same faces day in and day out. There's nothing but the ocean and the horizon that seems endless. Not everyone can stand this way of life. Away from family, away from friends, no booze, no party, just work and solitude. But for me, I try to see it in a different way. I'm always thankful for everything. For the safe watch, for the beautiful weather, for the starry night sky, for the colorful sunset, for the chance to help my family and for the opportunity to grow as an independent woman who keeps peace in my soul and never loses hope that this life is always worth living. With faith, hope, and love. This is Jai, and this is my Sheep Fetters Journal.